Okay, we're in my kitchen, and that means only one thing. That means that I have to unbox a large item. Now, what you see in front of you here is a PC that I picked up off of eBay. And this is going to kick off a series of videos where I'm going to show you how to build your own home theater PC. Now, you can do this in a variety of ways. You can buy the components and build a fresh, brand new system. Like I've done in the past, I have a series of videos on how to build a PC. But that is my PC that I use mostly for my video editing and a little bit of gaming here and there. So you have that option to build it from scratch. What I'm going to show you here are just the basics of setting up a home theater PC system. So what I've chosen to do is I've chosen to do it on the cheap. I'm buying a lot of used components to set this up as cheaply as possible. So in here is a desktop PC that I bought, like I said, off of eBay. It's actually a custom machine, so somebody actually built it themselves. And I don't know exactly how old it is, but it is a Core 2 Duo, and it's 2.8 gigahertz per core. And if you hear that, that's my refrigerator, so I do apologize for that. Anyway, it comes with a hard drive that has 160 gigabytes free on it and I'm gonna add uh, another 80 gig hard drive into there. It should be enough for my needs, um, but if you're gonna be making a home theater PC setup and you're very into media, you would definitely want a high capacity hard drive on the machine. But for me, I'm just gonna be doing some recording here and there, and mostly I'm going to use it to stream video off of the internet. But I am also going to make it into a DVR. If you're into collecting a lot of media, you definitely want either a one or a two terabyte hard drive in your setup. But as I said, that should do for me. Plus, I do have an external hard drive I could use with this if I want, or I could offload it to a different machine. We'll see how that works out. But again, this is just a series of videos to show you the basics of how to set up a home theater PC system with DVR functionality. Now, this computer does have four gigabytes of RAM. So I could use Windows 64-bit, but I am going to go with Windows 7 32-bit because I just so happen to have that lying around the house. So let's open this up and see what's on the inside. Now, this computer here does have some Subaru decals on it. So I don't know, it must have been a Subaru enthusiast who owned it before. But uh, in my scenario, I'm going to be putting this in my attic, and it is actually going to be hidden, so it really doesn't matter what it looks like. Um, let's open this up. It's got some straps on it here. There we go. And let's cut the tape here. Looks like it's packed really well. And let's pull it out of the box here. Now this is a mid-size case. And it's got a lot of bubble wrap around it. So. And I think it's just the computer itself. It doesn't come with any cords or anything, but that's not a problem because I have enough of that to go around. So let's pull this out of here. Okay, now one thing I neglected to mention is the price. I picked this up for $147 shipped. So the actual price of it was $112.50 and the shipping was an additional $34.74, so my total price was $147.24. So a decent price and really this has everything I need in it. I'm not going to be really adding anything to it other than my Windows installation. This does not come with Windows installed on it. So, just so you know. But like I said, I happen to have an extra 
Windows 7 installation that uh, I'm going to put on this. So hopefully this isn't too difficult to get out of the bubble wrap here. All right, so there we go. Finally unpacked out of the bubble wrap, and this is what it looks like. Like I said, not really my style. It says Subaru Technica International here. You got the STI branding there, and then on the side, you actually have a Dolce & Gabbana logo. So as you can see, it's an enthusiast case, so somebody built it themselves, and uh, hopefully it works. If not, I do have recourse uh, with the person I purchased it from. So, let's just actually just open this up here, so we can take a look on the inside. And, I don't know if I'm going to have to clean this out at all, but uh, it actually looks very clean on the inside, so that's good. It actually has a graphics card here, and I don't know what the power supply is, but uh, it has a power supply in here. 4 gigs of RAM, 2 sticks, and it has 2 DVD drives in it, and the one 160 gigabyte hard drive in here, so it actually looks a lot cleaner than I thought it was going to be, so that's, that's pretty cool. The, the case, uh, not so great, but uh, inside the case, it's very well kept in here. Let's see, the graphics card is a GeForce 9500 GT with one gigabyte of DDR2 RAM on it. And the motherboard is an XFX motherboard, so I'm going to have to download the drivers for that. So let me button this up again and just show you the case. Now in the case you have one fan on the side here, and then you have one fan on the back here, and then you have another fan as an intake on the front as well. It comes with two DVD drives here. It looks like one's a ROM and one's a RRW, so that's a rewritable one there. I have three additional bays available there, and then I have two three and a half inch drive bays here. Peel this off of here. Now, on top of the system here, it looks like we have a fan control here. We have the reset button and the power button, two LEDs here, and then there are some ports here, some USB the audio, and what looks to be a firewire there. So like I said, not the prettiest thing, but I think I got a good deal on it. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. As always, if you like what you see, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. It helps out my channel. So that's all for now. I'll see you guys next time.